card number 11 look at this look at this what an image what a beautiful piece of art man this would be amazing blown up and put on the wall the Madeline cartel uncle sam snorting it up gary webb gary webb look into gary webb the dark alliance if you don't know what that is look it up the madeline cartel wow card number 11 pablo escobar and john ocha ochoa the madeline cartel Colombians Pablo Escobar and George Orcha are the leaders of the Medellin cartel, which is responsible for 80% of the cocaine entering the U.S. Escobar, the U.S. Escobar, known as Godfather, is a former car chief, car thief, and gun for hire who started his own organization in 1977 and is now believed to be the world's richest criminal. He provides security, a 2,000-man police force, for the cartel. Orcha, middle son of the notorious Orcha clan, once bragged of personally smuggling 4,000 pounds of cocaine a week. The tremendous profits generated from the sale of cocaine in excess of $3 million a day enabled the cartel to buy influence and protection. Panama's General Manuel Noriega, Pan Panama's General Manuel Oriega, to take but one example, received as much as $10 million a month for allowing the cartel to use Panama's airports and launder its profits through Panama's banking system. Noriega also received $200,000 a year from the CIA. The Madeline cartel and the CIA had a relationship of convenience. The CIA offered airstrips, air radar clearance, and no customs inspections. The cartel provided pilots, airplanes, and money. According to the uh, Ramon Mil Millian, according to a Ramon Millian Rodriguez, a convicted Medellin accountant, the cartel gave ten million dollars to the Contras at the request of CIA. CIA agent Felix Rodriguez as a goodwill gesture see card number 30 ocean hunter the cartel uh, front which dealt with John Hall see card number 12 through Rene Corova and Felipe Vidal see card number 10 provided $200,000 a month some of which went to Contras on the southern border Snort it up, snort it up. Gary Webb, the Dark Alliance. 